Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Well, it's called the Gold Package, an oil change and some life advice, courtesy of Ed himself at Ed's Garage. The Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre is presenting heartfelt comedy Ed's Garage on the main stage with Rod Beatty of the popular Wingfield Theatre series. Here's a clip. You provide a real service here. Yeah, we fix stuff. And you fix people. We fix stuff and people. That's good. That's really good. I should put that on the front of the shop. <laughs> that went well. How's Peter? He's fine. The chief says we can come and pick him up. Will he need bail? Nope, there's no charges. Just like that? Just like that. The chief says he can't hold all the people who hit Jimmy Doolin. <laughs> he doesn't have the staff, and there's only two holding cells. So Peter's off the hook? Not entirely. Actors Rod Beatty and Andrew Seacon join us this morning. Thanks so much to both of you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, we're going to start with you. We just kind of set up the fact that uh, your character, Peter, is being told that he needs to take anger management courses. Let's give us a little bit of a background on Peter's story. Sure. Well, Peter's been trying to open up a bed and breakfast, and he's had uh, just about every problem he could possibly have with the township which ends up with him getting a little bit frustrated at one person uh, and ending up needing to take anger management. <laughs> and that's sort of where you come in a little bit. There's a, a bit of a, a dialogue between yourself and uh, who we saw on stage, Tracy Penner plays Cassandra, a psychologist, and you end up sort of working together to help out Peter. Uh, talk a little bit about, obviously, you have the garage as Ed, but also sort of the other service you provide. Yeah, well, we, as, as Nick says, we fix stuff and we fix people. And uh, the, the people thing kind of came along later. The, the garage is, is really what's left of Ed's farm. And he's hired a bunch of uh, people who have also lost their farms, and he's kind of ad adjusting them through the transition from farm to uh, post-farm life. And that turns out to involve quite a lot of psychology certainly does and really actually touches upon sort of the decline of a lot of rural communities as well and I think people in the audience can probably relate to that as well and to sort of the frustrations you're going through. Yes, I think that's something actually we, we got to see a little bit because we toured this show uh, before opening on the main stage and we went through lots of small Manitoba and northwestern Ontario towns which you could see, you know, um, having a whole lot less population that they once had. Sure, and sort of that, that sort of spark of, of understanding some of the jokes and just some of the observations that the show makes. Now, Rod, this production brings together that trifecta of Douglas Beatty and Dan Needles and yourself from the Wingfield series that people know. Was there any challenges that you saw? There's some similarities between Walt Wingfield and Ed and also that sort of country, city to country sort of, sort of thing. Was there some challenges in making sure as Grudge stood apart? Well, um, I don't think we really tried to do that. In fact, some of the place names are the same in the Wayfield series and in this play. And it's the same turf. It's, it's, the, it's the stuff that Dan knows. Dan knows the rural-urban split from both sides because he was, he was trained as an economist, but he's, uh, he grew up as a farmer. And he, uh, and he still straddles that fence. And uh, it turns out to be pretty, pretty fertile. There you go. Write what you know, that's what they say, right? That's right. <laughs> and you're joined on stage by three other actors, whereas in the Wingfield series you're on your own, so it's good to have that cast up there with you. You can check it out for yourself till March 2nd at the MTC main stage. Thanks so much to both of you for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Taking a break on BT. Man.